Hi, in our today's video, we are talking about ionic bond. Ionic bond is also called as electrovalent bond. Ionic bond is actually formed by the complete transfer of the electrons. Ionic bond is formed between two ions. As the name indicates here, it is made up of ions when two ions, positive ion or a negative ion, attracts and due to that attraction, a bond is formed between two atoms. That bond is actually called as ionic bond. Moreover, the electrostatic force of attraction, which holds the two oppositely charged ions together, is called the ionic bond. The force of attraction that holds the two oppositely charged ions, positive and negative, is ultimately formed a bond and that bond is called as ionic bond. By moving on, in other words, we can say a chemical bond is formed between two atoms by the complete transfer of one or more electrons from one atom to the other, as a result of which the atoms attain their nearest inert gas configuration. Now a question arises here, why we are talking about ionic bond? Ionic bond is formed between atoms because, as we know, everything in this universe wants to get stability. In order to get stable, what atoms do? They lose or gain electrons. And after losing and gaining electrons, due to force of attraction, a bond is formed, a chemical bond is formed that is called as ionic bond. An ionic bond is the bond formed by the complete transfer of valence electron to attain stability. This type of bonding leads to the formation of two oppositely charged ions. These oppositely charged ions are positive ions or the negative ions. When an atom lose an electron, they form a positive charge and that is called as a cation. When an atom gains an electron, they form a negative charge and that is called as anion. So, by gaining and losing, atoms form ions which are cations and anions. The presence of two oppositely charged ions result in strong attractive force between them. This force is an ionic or electrovalent bond. Of course, now we have a positive charge and a negative charge. Positive charge and negative charge, both are different types of charge. They are opposite. So because these charges are opposite, so what happens? They will attract each other. When they will attract each other, there is a formation of bond between them. That bond is called as ionic bond or electrovalent bond and the compound that is formed as a result of this ionic bond is called as ionic compound. Ionic bonds forms between atoms with larger differences in their electronegativity. And what is electronegativity here? Electronegativity means the power or the tendency of an atom to attract an electron towards itself is called as electronegativity. Moreover, the compound formed by electrostatic attraction of positive and negative ions is called as ionic bond. Before moving towards the example, you can see here we have atom number one and atom number two. Here you can see atom number one is metal and atom number two is non-metal. So what metals do? They usually lose their electrons. Usually metals lose their electron and non-metals, they gain the electrons. So that's why they write here metals and non-metals. Moreover, here you can see after losing this electron in the outermost shell, this atom got a positive charge. And after gaining an electron in the outermost shell, in the valence shell, this atom got a negative charge. Now this positive and negative charge will have a force of attraction between them. And now this force of attraction will be the cause of ionic bond between these two atoms and the resulting compound will be called as ionic compound. Now have a look at some examples. Here the most popular example of ionic bond is NaCl, sodium chloride, which is actually the table salt that we all use in our homes. Here you can see in the outermost shell of this sodium we have only one electron 
and in the outermost shell of chlorine we have seven electrons the atomic number of sodium is 11 and the atomic number of chlorine is 17 now this sodium will gain stability after losing one electron and this chlorine will gain stability after gaining one electron now this sodium will lose the electron and this chlorine will accept this electron and ultimately this sodium will have a positive charge because they are positive and negative charge a bond is going to form between them and that bond is ionic bond sodium loses one electron it has positive one charge chlorine gains an electron it has negative one charge now these two charges are opposite they will cancel the effect of each other and ultimately the ionic bond that is going to form is neutral it has no charge moreover as you know that this sodium has only one electron in the outermost shell and this chlorine has seven electrons in the outermost shell so what will happen that this sodium will lose one electron and will give this electron to this chlorine we will provide some kinetic energy to this sodium in order to lose this electron here on the other hand when this chlorine will gain this electron and this electron will jump here now this chlorine loses energy here for sodium we have ionization energy and for this chlorine we have electron affinity this positive charge and negative charge will attract each other and due to that attraction we have a bond as a result that is called as ionic bond when there is force of attraction always energy loses and when there is force of repulsion energy gains now here you can see how sodium is losing an electron and chlorine is gaining an electron in order to make a bond here we have another example of lithium and fluorine lithium is a metal again and fluorine is a non metal lithium will lose its outermost electron because after losing this outermost electron lithium will left with two electrons and it will attain stability on the other hand we have fluorine fluorine have seven electrons in the outermost shell after gaining one electron there will be eight electrons in the outermost shell and fluorine also get stable and after losing one electron lithium will have a positive charge and after gaining one electron this fluorine has a negative charge now this positive and negative charge will again attract each other attraction energy will releases when energy releases a bond is formed between them and that bond is called as ionic bond and the compound that is formed which is lithium fluoride is a ionic compound here here we have some properties of ionic bonds you can see the ionic bonds are the strongest of all the bonds that are present in any atom we have different types of chemical bonds ionic bond covalent bond coordinate covalent bond but ionic bond is the one that is the strongest of all the bonds and what is the reason behind this because it is made up of ions a positive ion and a negative ion and due to this presence of ions ionic bond is the strongest bond because the force of attraction between this positive and negative charge is so strong the ionic bond has charge separation and so they are the most reactive of all the bonds in the proper medium as we discussed earlier the ionic bond molecules have high melting and boiling point again what is the reason behind this of course the bond is very very strong so we need and require more energy in order to break that bond that is why the molecules or the ionic bonded molecules or compounds have high melting and boiling points the ionic bonded molecules in the aqueous solution or in their molten states are good conductors of electricity and what is the reason behind this this is due to the presence of ions which act as a charge carrier there that is why they are good conductors of electricity also now it's time to conclude our today's lesson in our today's lesson we talk about ionic bond ionic bond is formed by complete transfer of ions ionic as the name indicates this is a bond that is formed due to the ions we have two types of ions involved in this positive charge and negative charge which is a cation and an anion there are two atoms involved in the formation of bond one will lose an electron 
and the other will gain an electron they will have positive ion and then negative ion these positive charge and negative charge has a force of attraction between them as they are opposite in nature so that's why they are going to attract each other and due to that attraction they will form a bond and that bond is actually called as ionic bond so yes this is all about our today's lesson if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much